What's up, what's up? It's time for Done Way Past Funny. With your host, G.D. Fenderson. Join us as we take a look back at the early works of seasoned comedians before they were seasoned with this week's guest, the iconic Tommy Chong. It's time to get down and get dope with Done Way Past Funny. Hi, and welcome to Done Way Past Funny. I'm your host, G.D. Fenderson, certified forensic humorist at large, but I'm losing weight. Our guest host for this episode is the one and only Tommy Chong. Hey, Tommy. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. We got uh, the right link, and we got it going then. Great. I I see all your guitars. I was going to... I'm sorry. I'm G.D. Fenderson. Um, uh, should I call you Tommy or Mr. Chong? Or- sure. Your high, your royal Ooh. highness. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> well, I'm always high, but you can call me Tommy. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, do you still play? Yeah. What's that? Do you still play guitar? Uh, not as much as I should. <laughs> no, I'm the the arthritis is kicking in, uh, and and, and uh, you know, I, you know, it always was a problem. Get, playing guitar was always a problem for me. Because I was never uh, gifted, in a sense, you know. Thank God that I I, I would be an unknown gu- guitar player by now. <laughs> See, now I was going to, I was going, I did ask you because uh, it's well, you've also played drums, I think. At least I've seen you playing drums in a movie. Doesn't mean you actually play drums. No, was, no, no. I, I that was just for the movie. Okay, that, I was, that like, was so. just for the movie. Yeah, it doesn't mean you I, actually play it, but no. Uh, again, I play Adam. You know, uh, I I I I used to curse it because you know I I wasn't that gifted, but now I thank God for it because the only gift I I had really was my mouth, and, uh, <laughs> and that was uh, that was a, a a nice gift that I found out later. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm, I, I learned, you know, I played enough guitar to get me to Motown and, uh, you know, the, you know, and I wrote, like, I, I, I'm a songwriter too, but not, you know, that's not what I do for, uh, for my living. Uh, thank, again, thank God. I've only written a couple of songs in my lifetime. Right. Uh, you know, whereas other people like, like Joni Mitchell and them, you know, they, they, they wrote, they write more songs. Uh, you know, in a half hour than I, you know, than I can do all, all my whole life. But hey, I'm I'm just satisfied with the ineptness I got got me as far as I did. Uh, now I'm not sure if you're one of the things I I'd like to do with this is I like to look at older work or work from a you know from way way back when when earlier in the career, and have we look at it together and then you say how you felt about it then and how you feel about it now. Sure. And one thing I have is um, the video from um, Basketball Jones. Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, it now this is not going out live. So if anything you say that you want edited out, just let me know and I'll edit it out. Um, oh, sure. Sure. Because sure. I, no, I, I, I'm real. I'm real easy on, on that way. You know, I don't I don't believe in. Uh, and, and, you know, like I said, I'm just grateful I got as far as I did. <laughs> now, see, see I, I swear, I, I'm i a comedian also. And I, I honestly, I was raised with the concept that there are no bad words, only bad intentions. That's right. And one thing I, right. I, I really want to, okay, I'm going to say it. And if it, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because to me it's funny. See, you, you, when I asked you if you still played guitar, because I also play guitar. And I yeah. was going to, I want to say, no, I want to say, if we had just two more niggers, we could put your band back together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that was the Bobby Taylor uh, suggestion. Uh, you know, uh, when we, <laughs> because it was so funny, because when Motown found us, we were just a bar band, you know. Right. And, and I was a guitar player in the bar band. 
and Bobby was a singer. But when, you know, when they heard us, all of a sudden we, we became a group. Right. And we needed a name, and, and that was the first name that that, buddy, <laughs> that we came up with. We laughed so hard at it. Until, I, I don't know if you ever heard the, 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 what happened. Uh, when, we, when we named ourselves that, we put it on the marquee. <laughs> and, and that night, we had nobody in the club except one very angry, pissed off black lady wrestler. Named Lottie the Body, Lottie the Body. She was also a stripper, but she was also a, a very uh, talented wrestler. And so she came to the club, and and she sat in the audience. Well, there was no audience. She was the only one there. And after a while, she goes, "Well, I see the, all the end, but where's the where's the C?" <laughs> <laughs> and my dad, my dad, who was Chinese. He, did, he never knew what we were doing, you know. We right. never let him in on it, you know. And he's old-fashioned, you know. So when, when she came up with the C word, my dad walked over to her and told her, you know, we, we don't allow that kind of talk here. And so Lottie picked my dad up and body slammed him. Ooh. <laughs> now, how old <laughs> was your dad? Floor. My Oh, well, my dad was well in his 60s, 70s, you know. And so, uh, so I jumped off the stage, and, and she body slammed my ass, <laughs> and and all the brothers, of course, all the brothers on the stage laughing their ass off. And that was the funniest thing in the world. And finally, my bro my brother came and saved us, you know, and he, he called called body off, you know, and uh, and so we changed the name to Four Color Guys and a Chinese Lad. Oh. <laughs> Now, I, uh, I didn't. I used to play in the band, and at the at one point, uh, well, I was the only black musician in the group. The other four guys yeah. were all they were all white, and what I had it was just the four of them before I joined the band. So they were they'd already had to had the band together, and they decided yeah. that they needed an additional guitar player. So the other guitar player had seen me play, so he wanted me in the band. And they said, well, we should change the name of the band. We need a new name now because the old name doesn't fit because we, you know, I funked it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And so, yeah, of course. And so the drummer says, well, we should name it Behind the Eight Ball and put the put the black guy up front. And <laughs> I, I, I thought it was hilarious. But the other yeah. guys are like going, no, we can't do that. Nobody would. Lie. I said, really? I said, because behind the eight ball doesn't really sound racist. We just we just know that I'm the eight ball, but nobody else has to know it. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a phrase. It's a common phrase yeah. behind the eight ball. Yeah. yeah. And so nobody has to know it's a double entendre, but they were they were cowardly. Yeah. Well, the the, the truth is, uh, you know, it's us musicians. We're 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 the equal opportunity guys, you know. Yeah, because if you can play, it doesn't matter what color you are. You know? and, and that's what I was, that's one thing I was going to bring up. Um, because I think comedy, well, actually, I think yeah, comedy and music are two things that you can be. Well, music more so. It it doesn't matter as long as you're good. As long as you're yeah. good. Um, yeah. Now, comedy, it was like that at least back when, like, with Don Rickles was. You know, yeah. popular. He could get away yeah. with saying anything about anybody, and it was totally yeah. acceptable. Um, because and, it was all done with love. It was all yes. done with love. Yeah, and, and and like Don Don would be the last guy. You know, he he had that license because uh, he was a minority. You know, and 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 that that that's the way it is, and 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 that's the way we looked at it too. You know, we we never. Uh, yeah, especially in 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 Canada, you know, because if you uh, when we started off in Canada, we started off uh, it was the the city that was against us. Right. You know, it wasn't it wasn't the people. It was the bloody city because we got so popular. We we packed uh, you know downtown uh, Legion Hall every Saturday night. But then they made us quit because of the, you know, the Puritan liquor laws. And so we would have, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of rock and roll kids on the street with nothing to do and nowhere to go at 12 midnight. Right. You know, 
and 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 so so the city decided it was our fault <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, and so they <laughs> so they kicked us out of town they they literally ran us out of out of calgary uh which was okay because we we're ready to go you know any excuse to leave calgary we'll take it <laughs> and we went to vancouver and now vancouver was much more liberal and much more uh corrupt you know, in, in every which way, you know, the police were corrupt. Everybody was corrupt in Vancouver. And, and that's like the junkie capital of the world. And so so Vancouver, we got away with everything in, in a way, you know, uh, back then there was like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, you know, they would take the the law into their own hands as far as anything prejudice and that goes we had there was a lot of problems we had with the white kids from uh, the the universities would come right. down to the, uh, chinatown you know when they got drunk and they felt brave enough they'd come down and and pick fights with uh, the minorities in the you know in chinatown and that and uh and that that went on you know that probably still going on you know because uh especially in calgary but you know what what it, what it all did it was it just made everybody okay comfortable with who they are right you know you know and so and there was we never had any problems you know with uh what, what you know the problems they got now you know mass shootings and uh, all that all that all that problem you know we never had that uh, back then there was there was killings and uh but it was you know old-fashioned jealousy and right and, and, o- over and, a girl uh, <laughs> yeah 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 of course of course <laughs> of course there's one great story you know that will will be told one day uh the singer in our group tommy milton was a, a star uh, football player right and, and he was small but he was fast and he was touted to be the next big deal Canadian too. Right. He was a Canadian, even though he was black. He was uh, his ancestors were from, uh, you know, Texas. Right. And and they they uh, when they got freed uh, down in the states, they they wagon trained up to Edmonton. Now check this out. They went all they went as far north as they could on the map. You right. know, to get away from Texas. Right. So they get up to Edmonton. But guess what? The founding fathers of Edmonton would not let them camp in Edmonton. They had to keep going north. And then they, they found a, a place called Amber Valley. Right. And and that's where uh, the, the, uh, all the uh, ex-slaves and, and so on went, went to Amber Valley. And my first wife, uh, Maxine, her family, you know, they're descendants of that wagon train. Oh, okay. And, and Tommy, Tommy uh, was a, a descendant too, and and that a lot of talent came out of that uh, Amber Valley, you know, uh, with, with Tommy. But Tommy, he was such a good football player, uh, you know, that it, it, they they it was he was destined to be the next star. But he hurt his leg, you know, in practice or whatever, and he took the cast off too soon. And 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 I think he did it on purpose because his future wasn't too bright, you know, being tackled by 300-pound guys. You right. know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good way to make a living. And so he uh, ended up being little daddy and, 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 and singing with, with our group, uh, you know, uh, until, until we broke up. But... Uh, yeah, we got a we got a great great uh, history of uh, of the the brothers coming up from uh, from the states. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, I if it's okay with you, I'm going to go ahead and start the clip from um, I forgot what it's called now. Uh, basketball Jones with oh uh, basketball Jones yeah, yeah with Tyrone with Tyrone shoelaces yeah Tyrone shoelaces. So uh, I keep thinking when I, when I hear that name Tyrone shoelaces, I keep hearing tie your own shoelaces. But yeah, it's... yeah, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Cheap, cheap was uh, Cheech is the master of uh, of word. He's a wordsmith. Oh, okay, you know? and, and, and so that's one of Cheech's uh, Tyrone shoelaces. 
Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so I did so it was because that's how I was hearing it in my head. Yeah, that's what he meant. That's okay, what great. I, I, yeah. I stumbled on something by accident. Yeah. All right. So let me get this real quick. And uh now it, just so you know, people will be able to hear us over top of the video. Okay. All right. Uh here we go. Um this is um well, do you remember what do you remember about this? So when was the last time you watched it? I haven't seen it for a long time. A long time. Okay. Well, <laughs> It's so, better roll. It's Let's three see. minutes. Three minutes and forty-five seconds. Okay. Pass the ball, Joe. The ball, pass the ball, Joe. Gotta pass the ball, Joe. Yes. I'm the biggest pass the ball, Joe. Ever since I was a little baby, I always be drinking. <clears throat> First time I've seen it. Oh, no, oh, I'm glad to take you down memory lane. Oh, thank you. First time I've seen it all the way through. I saw bits and pieces of it, but you know when you're the subject of the of the situation, you know a lot of times, uh, you know, like like I, I there's a lot of uh, movies that I've done that I I don't, you know, we saw the screenings, we saw the all the stuff, but right. to see it, the finished product. 
I, I can't remember saying that I that I saw uh, any of my movies all the way through. You know, uh, like you know, with with without leave, having to leave halfway through. You know, because right, of the, right. the, the crowd you, and that. So you never got to enjoy it as a fan, as like we did. Right, right. Now I'm now I'm enjoying a lot of stuff as as a fan. It was it's really good. Oh, That's oh, you got my my alarms going off here. Oh, okay. I got to shut it off. I think I did. Okay. I did. I shut it off. Now, okay. So, what are your what are your impressions of it now? Of uh, many years later. I well, I I love it. I lo I love all the little uh, uh, things, little messages. Had the yes. Beatles in there. Well, you know, it was George Harrison played guitar in the beginning. Oh, I did not that's know that. George, that's George Harrison playing guitar. How'd you get him to do that? <laughs> well, he was in the, he, he was in the studio, and uh, you know, working on his album, and uh, and uh, he was there with uh, 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 what's your name, Joni Mitchell. Joni okay. Mitchell was there working on her album, and so we we were in we were in Joni's album, and I don't think we did anything for George, but he sure did that guitar solo for us. That's, that's all George that's cool. That is yeah. <laughs> that, that is so cool. Uh, yeah, I I am amazed at the way some things cross over like that. Just the, yeah, the things that happen by accident. Well, that was Lou Adler. You know, Lou Adler was so connected. You know, and 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 like we were stumbling around until we met Lou Adler, and then the minute we met Lou Adler and decided we wanted to do you know comedy records then uh oh man that was it <laughs> you know we had we hit the jackpot because uh within within days we had a full length uh uh, uh what do you call it billboard on sunset it okay. song. It, it, and you know it was really funny i had I, years ago before cheech and chong i had played in a in a uh, circus uh, well like a carnival for a, gir a girly show Right. And, and they and they shipped all the girls up from L.A., uh, you know, the strippers and so on. And and, and so I got to know all the girls. Of course. I was the only guitar player. Right. <laughs> There's me and a, and a military drummer. We were the band. <clears throat> and so, I, of course, I got to know all the girls. And one of the girls, uh, Pandora, very beautiful uh, uh, soul sister. And uh, and so. She just knew me as as the, the musician, you know, right. Sh short hair and you know, kind of straight looking. Well, I, when I became Cheech and Chong, I had my hair down to my shoulders, you know, and so I hadn't talked to her for 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 about a year or so, maybe longer. And anyway, when I went to L.A. and we we did our record and looked like we we're going to be big stars, well, I I called her up. And she she was anxious to see me, and so she drove down, and and when she saw me with the, my long hair and my hippie look, she never got out of the car. She stayed in the <laughs> <laughs> she stayed in her car. She said, "Oh hi, uh, listen, I got to go now." Whoa, and she took off. <laughs> well, about a day or so later, she saw our billboard on Sunset. Oh. <laughs> and so then, I, then I get a call from Pandora. Hi, <laughs> I'm I, I'm having a bath right now. You want to come over? <laughs> 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 but by that time, I was with my my lady, and, and I, I never had the freedoms that I once had. So uh, so, but it was it was funny to be rejected just on looks. <laughs> Oh, you know, <laughs> and, and then they see the billboard, and oh, he's not so bad after all. <laughs> it, I, I, I've I've been there, but not yeah. but not because, like I said, I'm a comedian, but I'm not. I never, I, I've never achieved the heights that you did, and I probably yeah. never will because I started so late. I started at 54, so yeah. I'm, and I'm yeah. 63 now, and it takes a while yeah. to you know. So it I, does and it doesn't. Hey, don't worry, you're going to be there if it's yeah. if it, if it's ordained. That's yeah, what it yeah. is, you know, if it's ordained. But uh, yeah, I started late too, man. I, I was uh, 
I'm playing a teenager in my forties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when by the time but by the time you did the movies, well, you, by the time you did the movies, you were in your forties, right? Yeah. But the yeah. albums, you you st you did those in like well seventy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Three, I was 70, in my thirties. Seventy-two, 30s. seventy-three. Yeah, I was in my thirties for sure. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, I was. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was early thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thirties. And uh, yeah, next thing you know, doing movies. Yeah, it was. You know, it was seven years in between. Oh, okay. We did our album. We did our albums, and seven years later, we did our movies. Right. And then seven years after that, Cheech and I broke up, and he went his way, I went my way, and then uh, not too long ago, we got back together again. But just uh, you know, just for the sake of the weed business and the you know, and the odd. Uh, uh, personal appearance that we do together but no we we actually he went his way i went my way he, he didn't he well i i can't say no the truth is he didn't believe in the weed thing you know oh, okay and when when i got busted you know he sort of like decided that you know that's my trip <laughs> he was not going to go on my trip with me and and so i was uh I, I did the jail time and everything else, but it turned out really good because, you know, no more than I get out of jail than they legalize weed. And now we're, we're looking at an international uh, company that, uh, you know, we're going to be bigger than we could ever hope to be with the records or, or, or even the movies, you know? Okay. Well, I guess we should plug your site. Was it Tommy, Tommy Chong's hemp.com? Yeah, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, that, yeah, because uh, yeah, I nutraceutical products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we lucked out with the uh, with the uh, uh, hemp products yes. because it's it's legal all over the the world, and and even though, but hemp has natural uh, 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 THC in it. You know, right. you can't separate it, and the THC is only three three and a half percent or something like that but it's enough to give a give you a nice buzz you know right and uh and so we're selling these uh cruise chews they're gummies right and uh oh man they're 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 our, one of our best sellers and i'm also selling the 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 sleep aid which i love very much this is uh it's called nice dreams right and and it, and it gives you nice dreams it really helps helps me uh it's funny because my wife you know she she has problems uh sleeping and uh, and she t she took this for a while but uh she's she's a purist you know right. she doesn't like to take anything unless uh unless she absolutely has to right you know? but she's also an anomaly because she looks so good uh that she looks so good that now i have to lie <laughs> I, you know, I gotta say okay yeah you're you're right she's 30 years younger than me and not 10 <laughs> but it's okay well, now i don't mind being the be old the old pervert you know well there's some there's um, some street cred to that there's some cred to that you know just say well yeah. that's that, that's his arm candy wow okay that was the uh Tommy Chong, the iconic Tommy Chong. Uh, this interview went two hours, so we're going to divide, divide this up into a number of parts. Uh, and thank you. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>